everybody, and welcome back to the Dream Team Tonic Podcast, episode three. Um, with me, as usual, is Ben. Are you there, Ben? How you doing, Tony? All right, mate. Are you there, James? I'm here, mate. Good man. So, lots to discuss, lots going on. Um, we obviously revealed our drafts last week with Fergie, but every day there seems to be some huge happening. So... Obviously, our drafts are probably up in the air, all been ripped to shreds. <laughs> um, but we'll, we'll, we've got plenty of questions to get through tonight. I think it's our, our busiest busiest night of questions we've had since we started the pod. And we've got a couple of team reveals that we missed off from last week. Uh, that's my fault. I hold my hands up. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what crack is there. So straight in, listeners' questions. Um, first up, Liam Webb. Um, obviously, with the transfer of Lukaku... Um, looking, well, I think it has happened now, hasn't it? I think it's more side sealed. Um, w- including Lukaku, in your, in your, our opinions, what is the best three, front three going into week game week one? Uh, straight up to you, James. <clears throat> well, I took that. I um, I took that to mean I. So, he, so he wants us to include Lukaku. He wants two players, basically. Then, right? Mm. Okay, I get it. Um, <clears throat> Well, I think you've got to have Salah. Um, he's um, he should be nailed in any team. And then it's either a choice of um, Mane or Son for me, and possibly Greenwood, as uh, Cavani's probably going to miss the first game. So I think this, the options, that, oh, in my opinion, are quite limited. Um, I would definitely go with uh, probably uh, definitely Salah, and then one of Mane or Son. Yeah, well, Ben. Yeah, I c- completely agree with you. Um, maybe a shout for Jota as well seems to be doing well in pre-season for Liverpool looks like he's going to be starting <coughs> but, yeah um, hearing, hearing that he might get the nod ahead of Firmino yeah yeah yeah. For, for, Firmino it's not come, not come um, he's late back from the Copa America I think so yeah um, yeah he's uh, he's not played any pre-season yet so yeah I, I can't see him starting against Norwich at least what did um what 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 is the chances of say Kane playing in the Euro, Europa Conference in midweek? Would that knacker your uh, plans up? Because oh. it's the first midweek game after the Man City game. It'd be a right drama. Kane going back to training <laughs> for Spurs isn't isn't what we want for when we're planning because mm. it's still up in the air. I know I'm hearing whispers that Spurs are in for Martinez at uh, answer. So Inter, yeah. Um, I mean, it's one of them. Is that the replacement? Are they trying to get a replacement before letting Kane move on? We don't know. Um, it's, it's, it's so hard to plan. <laughs> but I, I agree completely with you, James. Um, if, I mean, would Lukaku start game week one? I'm not convinced he will, to be honest. I mean, he's... I don't think so. I so... suppose he might come off the bench if he's fit. Yeah. Yeah, I'd expect um, him to be fit. Um, but obviously, how, how much training is he going to get in before mm. before the uh, weekend? But yeah, Salah nailed, nailed for me, and a double up. I think a Liverpool double up is the way to go. And I, I, I can't admit Son for the five uh, five fixtures. Obviously, going to be main man at Spurs. Even if Kane does come back into that side, Son Son will be playing. I would guess. Yeah. So yeah. Lukaku's, I don't know, making planning a little bit harder. Same with Harry Kane. But I think you're looking at a, a Liverpool double, possibly this f- f- first game week, in our opinion. Um, how much Kerry think, Jones. How much, one, think, sorry, how much do you think he'll be priced at? <sighs> same, same as Salah, £6 million. Yeah, I think £6 million. I think that'd be fair. Mm. He's a bit of a goal machine, isn't he? Yeah. Another interesting one with Lukaku is would he take penalties off Jorginho? Surely that'd be in his in his little deal to get <laughs> to come to Chelsea. If he doesn't get penalties, does it make him less attractive? It definitely does. I my in my book. I mean, I, I the Jorginho. He's the only one that does that stutter, stutter run up and actually makes it work. He's yeah. so good at it. Uh, yeah. I, you've got to think of the team, haven't you? You can't go, oh, I'm not coming unless I don't get penalties. Does it work like that? 
Mm. I don't know. It might do, I suppose. I don't think you'll say that, but I think you'll say it'll want penalties. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe they might all turn at them. You never know. I jump across to Kerry Jones. Um, At the start of the season, what is the maximum number of non-European qualified players you would start with? Ben. Well, in my main team, I probably either one or none. Mm. But um, I'm going to have a little dabble with Villa, West Ham, players like that, Everton maybe, uh, Arsenal. So, but I probably won't. If I in them ones, I probably won't go any further than four, four maybe. Yeah. James. At least you can, at least you got five transfers to get get them out. That's it. We've got ample amount of transfers. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, James. Well, if I've only got one team, I don't normally start with any, to be honest. But I do yeah. think, have looking back at last season, there were some good players. And I would say one or two. Yeah. Certainly no more than three. Because um, yeah. you're just going to... You, you, that's all your um, September transfers burnt, burnt, potentially, I think. So uh, one or two, no more than three. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I, think, I mean, we, we do have ample transfers. You've got five in August, which is a short month anyway. And you know you are going to attack them European games in September. So yeah, you don't you don't want too many. You don't want to be burning them. You'd like to have, a, as we discussed last week with Fergie and stuff, about, about having that, that little head start going into next month. You don't want to have to be using them to take out a lot of Everton players or, or someone who, who isn't in Europe. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, not too many is the answer, I would guess, with um, obviously European coming straight into play the second month in September. Uh, on to Matt Blake, uh, a little bit of Lukaku again. I think we've just touched on this, but if Lukaku signs, is he a good option, depending on the price, obviously, as a Ch- Chelsea fan. He thinks he's going to end up with him, partner with Kane and Salah. Uh, pretty impressive front front three. I, I don't think you could probably come away from that all season, could you, that... <laughs> if if obviously Kane either got back into the Spurs side or um, went to City, I think that front three would be pretty much nailed. You reckon, James? Yeah, I agree. Uh, I think Lukaku is a good option, and especially if if you're a Chelsea fan like Matty Blake, um, <laughs> you've, got have, you've yeah. got to have one in there, haven't you? Um, yeah. yeah, maybe not for game week one for me, but um, he scored he scores goals everywhere he goes. I mean, if you look at his record, it's, it's slightly better than one in two. Um, he's one of the top goal scorers out there. So, yeah, I think he is a good option. Definitely. What do you reckon, Ben? Yeah, um, if you're at top of your mini league and them, they're all firing, they're probably the best three. But like you say, um, if, if you're starting a chase, you could easily go to Mane, San anyone else really you can just trust them a bit different but you'll, you'll probably end up having Salah yeah. or Kane anyway you know mm. what I mean you could probably see, I can already see the template there with them, for, yeah. <laughs> them three <laughs> up front and we're going to be praying for something, something different to come and break it up but yeah if them them three are fit and firing it'd be a hard one to uh, chase with some differentials that so I want to try and get ahead straight off the bat uh, interesting. So Steve Coles uh, tagged on to that. If Kane and Fernandez are bankers for up front and midfield, which obviously once the Kane saga settled, he will be. Who is your banker in defence and in goal? Go on, Ben. Um, in defence, I'd go Trent Alexander-Arnold. Some free kick corners, good defence, Liverpool, and the most nailed goalkeeper. I'd probably say is Allison. So and he's a, a good side as well. So yeah, that's probably mine. Yeah, go on, James. Well, um, <clears throat> Trent was was certainly a banker up until today's um, potential pre-season injury of uh, Andy Robertson. Um, yeah, that might weaken the defence significantly. Worth keeping an eye on how bad that injury is. Looks like he's done done his uh, done his ankle. Um, yeah. But no, Trent Trent was my first choice. Um, and I don't see him coming out my side anytime soon. Pro- probably would have had some Chelsea players in there, but if their fixtures weren't, so were they a bit were a bit kinder. Um, for me, there's no banker in goal. Um, 
if at a push, if you wanted to set and forget, then yeah, it'd be Allison or um, <laughs> Chelsea's um, Eduardo. I'm kind of hoping you say something different because I've got both of them. <laughs> I've got Trent defence. Yeah, I mean the, the fixtures have been nice to Liverpool. I think they've got a good run. Um, obviously, and his attacking returns they, they speak for, for themselves. And yeah, you're on a banker in goal. It's up no further than Allison. With VVD being back, hopefully starting the season, see a lot of clean sheets again for Liverpool. Um, so yeah, them two for me as well, which is pretty boring, Steve, but it is what it is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, oh yeah, I did see that um, that Robertson injury as well just before we come on, and it doesn't look good, does it? I, I would guess he's he's done a bit of damage to them ligaments. I'd say it must be th- if it's just minor damage, it might be th- two or three weeks out, but it could be could be a lot longer if he's um. Done those ligaments, yeah. yeah I mean, I, I have heard that the, the pain settled down quite quickly, so hopefully, it's just a bit of a strain and he's just not done not done much damage. Like I say, just a couple of weeks, but we'll see on that one. Um, yeah. yeah, I think Robertson is in eight <sighs> of my ten teams. I, I think, um, I, I've gone through him in a lot of formats, so because he's the mm. cheaper of the two between him and um, Trent, so it's a bit of a gutner, but. Again, them drafts are getting ripped up. He's in uh, 20,000 teams, Robertson. Oh, 20, 20%, percent. sorry. 20% lads. of teams. <laughs> 20,000. Yeah, 20% 20, 20 of teams. That's, yeah. Yeah, one in five teams is uh, going to be ripped up. Like you say, uh, to get the other players on, is Tamiscus, Tam- is it Tamiscus to Simicus? Simicus. Timicus. Yeah. Is he on the game yet? No, <laughs> you might get him on by Christmas uh, when Robertson's back. He only had two starts in the Premier League last year, so um, I'm not convinced he's up for it yet. But we'll he see. Might not know who he is, Looks then. like he has to. He might have to be put, forced in. <laughs> <Hopefully. clears throat> on to Fergie's apprentice. Um, should we drop Bar- uh, Mares for Barnes? Obviously, he's uh, he's watched the Leicester and City game this weekend. <laughs> and um, he's obviously thinking of switching, switching players. What, what do you reckon, Ben? Uh, why not have both? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I wouldn't take Mares out for Barnes. Mares is probably the the most nailed on in the city side at the moment, but he's on uh, free kicks and corners and stuff like that. So, and Barnes could be rotated with Ian Acho. And they could change formation, so it's a bit tricky at the minute with Leicester. We've got a lot of options in attacking positions. But I'd say Barnes is a starter for next week, definitely. Yeah, gotta be. Do you reckon James? I agree I agree with everything Ben said. Um the only thing I would add is you've got to be careful that it's it's so easy to watch one pre season game or yeah. read one pre season report and let it throw your plans completely out of the window um you've got to remember it's pre-season and quite often um it has absolutely no bearing at all on what happens game week one although you know it's worth keeping an eye on but don't like watch one game and like i watched ali the other day against chelsea and he was rubbish um but he looks he looked all right against arsenal so you know it's you've got to be careful not to let let think let these things swing you too much i think yeah, definitely. It's it's worth noting as well, uh, not to take away from Leicester's win, but that City side was a little, little bit of a patched up team. Mm. Uh, quite mm. a few youngsters in there. Mares were probably one of the most senior players there. Um, yeah, he had a few, uh, skied a few efforts, and he didn't look great. But um, Barnes did actually look, mm. look pretty good. But yeah, one like, but... like James says, don't concentrate too much on that one game. Yeah, Mares was good in the previous preseason games, though, wasn't he? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think he's more or less nailed in that side. Um, mm. So, if you can get a an asset for City, that's as threatening on goal as well. Like he'll score goals. I, I think he's pretty much essential. If he's starting for City, I think you've got to have him in your team. Yeah. Um, yeah, 
and in a lot of sides I've I've I have got Mares and Boynes. Uh, both great going forward. Jump across to Mike's question. I like this one. After banging two against Spurs, could Ziyech grab a spot in the starting eleven? Good, good question. Go on, James. He did look good in that game, I have to say. Um, yeah, he was playing very far forward as part of what looked to me like a front three. Um, there's always the risk of rotation, isn't there, at Chelsea? I mean, he, he can't have done much more in pre-season, I don't think, to nail that first um, starting spot. But I suppose he's up against the likes of Pulitic and various others. Um, hmm. Tricky one. He's, he's good value. It's only three million. Um, mm. I think you can take a bit of a punt on a three million, but I, we just know from last season that um, Tuchel likes to uh, rotate a hell of a lot. So best be prepared for that if you're going to yeah. go that route. Yeah, definitely. Go on, Ben. Yeah, I probably would avoid because um, they've got, you can play in the front three. If they sign Lukaku, they've got Mount, Werner, Pulisic, Havertz, and Ziyech, so it's a lot of options there. So, yeah, I'd probably avoid for a little bit. And he was rotating them all a lot uh, last season. Yeah, especially now with Lukaku coming in, so he'd definitely be playing the number nine. Um, mm-hmm. So that puts Werner. If Werner's going to start, he'll be out on one of them wide spots. Yeah, yeah. Then, then you've got Havertz won't be playing through the middle up yeah. top. So dream team, are they going to are they going to drop him back to a midfielder now? But, <laughs> um, like, so, where's Havertz, Mount, Pulisic fit into that? It's a lot of competition. Um, Hudson yeah. and Dolly as well. Yeah. Um, obviously, he's he likes to win back. back but he? Yeah. yeah, but he, he, he's obviously he's a forward thinking player. Yeah. He can play up there. I mean, is it because of the competition that ZH has, has upped his game this pre season? Maybe he keeps it up. Uh, like you say, a punt for three million to top player. Yeah, why not? Why you can not? fix it easily, can't you, if you yeah, want to? Yeah, definitely easily fixed. Um, but he might end up one of them, uh, like a Mares, who yeah. you're in and out doing orky-corky with him and you're missing all his points. Mm. Um, yeah, it'd be a tricky one, but if you're going to put him in, I think you're going to put him in for a period of time. Yeah, um, Maybe attack some fixtures with Chelsea with him. I wouldn't be taking him in and out and trying to you know, hop onto his points. When he's playing and when he when he's not, um, yeah, good question though. Over to Des Tony or Destiny, whichever way you want to, uh, <laughs> whichever way you want to read it. What do you think about all the mistakes made by some dream team? Does it make you think twice about playing this game when the manager is so haphazard? <laughs> oh, well, I mean, my head would boil in over it summer with the Euros. Um, I don't know whether I have much of a rant about it. I'd have to let it go, but I was I was ready to throw the towel in. Uh, I was messaging these guys saying, "They say I know I know we've signed up to do this pod for the hood and uh, for the for the hub and all this for next year." I said, "But if they don't sort this mess out, I'm done. Um, I was losing it. Uh, it is frustrating. Um, I'm hoping we have nine months of error free, bug free." The app working, um, points updating properly. Uh, I don't. I don't want to have to get so angry again. Like <laughs> knowing that you, we're, we're running a league, we're running a pod. You know, we're we're advertising the game, we're pushing it for them, um, and and we do it well free. We, you know I mean, we're we're not paid podcasters, and uh, yeah, you just hope that they can run the game correctly. So, yeah, it does make us think twice. But here we are. Everyone deserves a second chance, third chance, fourth chance, or fifth chance. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but you know, you know um, I, I think you two guys feel the same about that. Like we, we love playing it though, and yeah. that's that's the trouble. Even with the mistakes, it's it's, it's a top game. We you know, the European games, the FA Cup games. It's different to other formats. We play the other formats, but you, yeah, I'd have still played it even if I quit the pod. I was still going to play, it. <laughs> <laughs> but me, me me anger would have been silenced. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you guys want to add anything to that? Well, all I would say is, um, I, it's nice to see the Android app finally back in the in the App Store within mm. the Play Store for, for Android. Um, I can't yeah. believe it wasn't there in the first place. Um, 
hopefully a bit more usable this season. I mean, I've dropped the. Um, I finally managed to turn off the Dream Team coach, which um, I think may actually help because it was like last season. It was like a virus. I couldn't get rid of it. <laughs> so, I'm pleased to see I've managed to turn that off now. Is, um, is that the, the, is that uh, what we tell you to put in Joel Linton? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some of its recommendations are a little bit um, off the wall, shall we say? And that's being polite. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, I'm pleased that um, it, I've managed to switch it off now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if any any newbies are listening out there, um, <laughs> we don't really recommend the uh, the dream team coach. Um, you're probably better off just listening to us three we're away on this pod. You you'll get more sense. You want to add out to that, Ben? No, I think you've all covered it. Um, yeah, it's just a shame how it's been going the last season or so, because yeah. um, it's the first game I ever played, and obviously I love the way, love the format. Every competition counts. No other game does that. Yeah, just disappointing the way yet the Euros has ended with not adding the last game up properly. Yeah. Yeah, definitely frustrating. Uh, even more so for me, Sam. Even in the... Because, obviously, then points ended up with me winning the the uh, DT Euro League. Yeah. Um, our league. Um, so, holding off with the prizes and being so adamant that these points needed adding, it, it just put me in a very, very awkward position. Yeah. Um, obviously, with us running the league and other stuff, but finally they did correct it and the correct mm. people got the correct amount of money and the placings were correct so mm. hopefully there's no none of that drama um goes on this year yeah we'll move on on to connor um speaking of connor it's uh it's fitting that he's sent in a question as well but um big welcome to connor he's going to be doing a monthly blog for us uh, we've pestered him for a while to be fair he's, <laughs> he's a good lad um, and yeah so if you want to read his uh, blogs every month along with James Dream Team blog as well uh, you might get a sneaky few from Ben depending on uh, how the uh, birth goes and obviously having a, a newborn Ben you're going to be a busy yeah. man aren't you yeah so yeah we'll, we'll see how we go with you but yeah big big welcome to Connor on board uh, follow him at Conquer FF he's a good lad so Anyway, he's on because I know we're all massive fans of double, triple, and even quadruple Villa. Who's banging in Danny Ings? <laughs> Go on, James. Oh, that made me laugh when he when he posted that on Twitter. Uh, yeah, no, welcome, Connor. Good to have you on board. Um, uh, is <clears throat> Danny Ings? Yeah, no, I think he he could be an option. Um, you know, he's he's certainly a good player. I think. Um, he might, he might be good for a few weeks, definitely. Scored today, in a friendly. Yeah, yeah. Straight in there, scored, and you know he's 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 going to be the main man there, isn't he? Don't you? What do you think? They've got Ollie Watkins. He's probably going to play to the side of him or something. Did he I'm pick guessing. up an injury today, Watkins? Hmm. About I think Watkins went off with an injury today, about forty-eight minutes into the match. Ah. I well, see he's even more there. Yeah, I've seen it on Twitter. Mm. Oh, dear. Didn't Lots know that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's another four or five drafts riff, ripped up. Yeah, yeah well, and, <laughs> well, apparently he was, he was looking to play them two up front together instead of yeah. Watkins out wide. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's that unusual, be... isn't it? Not, not many teams, teams play two up top these days. Not like you used to have the big man and little man. Mm. Um, it... You do find that some of these teams that go back to sort of some older style tactics, you know, the other teams aren't used to playing against it. So you know, it could be, could be worth. You know, they could actually hit the ground running if they can, if they're both fit. Yeah, definitely. I think he's. I think he's a very good option. It's a great mm. signing for Villa. I think came out of nowhere, just bang. Danny Ing signs for Villa. I never <laughs> read anything, no whispers, nothing. Um, Proper old fashioned signing when it no one knew about it. Yeah, you're brilliant. Um, I, Did you see the uh, comment by the chairman that uh, that he put out about Grealish going? Yeah, I thought that was well classy. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, how many chairmen do that? And anyway, it was slight slight tangent there, but I thought I'd slip that in. 
Yeah, yeah, fair play. I mean, they've already spent all the money, haven't they? Mm-hmm. Looks like That's it, what, yeah. I mean, but some decent signings in there for Villa. Definitely. You see, uh, Ashley Young came. Ashley came off the. Ashley Young came off the bench and scored. Um, Willie, I don't know if he played in midfield on on the wing in midfield or did he play left back, but. Um, targets the main man at the minute, isn't he? But I could see Young trying to get that place, or will he be playing further up the field? That that's a tricky one, and that's Wait one. And see, it? Yeah, you don't want to delve into, do you? And, and that's why in a lot of my drafts, if I've if I've gone for the Villa back line, I've gone Matty Cash because yeah. he's nailed on that other side, which in a lot of formats is a lot more expensive. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see between Target and Young. Sure, if Young's come back and he's going to play some games, he's. Mm. But will he? Uh, will he be able to dislodge Target? Target had a good year last mm. year. So, Quite yeah. versatile, Ashley Young, isn't he? I think he could um, fill in in a number of spots. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Good, good player, solid signing. Mm. Good for uh, team depth. That. Um. Yeah. So I, I mean, I've. I think I've Danny Ings into a couple of teams. He's a goal scorer, but he's a little bit of a an Antonio, isn't he? Uh, how, how long is he going to yeah. stay fit for? Uh, so you've always got to have a sub ready for him. I'd, I I wouldn't be happy being halfway through a month having Danny Ings and Antonio up front and no subs left. <laughs> I'd, I'd be shaking. So yeah, definitely definitely worth a punt in, in quite a few teams with the fixtures, obviously. But he'll be one that you'll be taking out in September, obviously, for the uh, European Games. Um, obviously, Antonio's got the European Games, so is he a better option at that price? Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. Um, right, Jason Jones has been on. Hi, lads. Obviously, with 10 teams, we're all doing a couple of blocks. Do you feel four at the back is required versus the three at the back? Um some teams is thinking of only only got the three defenders that I nailed. Usually they've got one, as we just said with Villa. Obviously the left back spots a little bit up in the air for them. Yeah. Um, but he's feeling that if he goes full box, does he need to go all back five, or or is four enough? Obviously the three at the back and the goalkeeper. Um, yeah. What do you reckon, Ben? <laughs> Sorry. Um, were, you letting, were, you, were you letting out a burp then? <laughs> <laughs> he's there, he's getting more professional. Ben's <laughs> found the meat button. I just turned to get me tin. Ben, is, is he gone? <laughs> Go on, mate, start again. Yeah, um, I was going to say, there were, um, we don't really know many defences are nailed at the minute, so... Um, you could probably guess United's defence is nailed at the minute, unless Varane is back, yeah. uh, comes into the side. But they look like they're nailed. They played their strongest back four in the last friendly. Um, Villa, you could probably guess it, but the left back spot, like you said, is a bit dodgy. Liverpool, Matip started today with Van Dijk, so I would have thought Canati would have been the main man with Van Dijk. So it's hard yeah. to get... Go on. James is our man for that. Yeah, because I, I, I asked him about Canati today. Where is he? <laughs> Look, I think it, if you'd asked me before Van Dyke got seventy-one minutes today, I would have thought Van Dyke would, was was a bit further away from starting than he was. Yeah. I still think Matip and Canate will start. Go, I think get, well, go, Gomez will probably play tomorrow night in in another friendly, but. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a tricky one. I don't think that Virgil van Dijk that vet is far off. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't bet on him starting that first game. Mm. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Well, Canati, you, you're saying Canati will probably play tomorrow night, uh, uh, be yeah. Monday night. Yeah, yeah. And I think I think, I think Matip and Canati are probably start against Norwich. Van Dijk's outside chance. And Simicus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Simicast, so like I said, has only played two two Premier League yeah. fixtures in his life. He he looked all right in pre season going forwards, not necessarily so good going at the back. So well, this is his um, chance. Is this, this is his chance. Hopefully, he'll take it. That's what happened to him. We bought Andy Robertson from Hull. He got yeah. put in, and um, and he he never looked back. Yeah. So we'll I mean, see. 
I hope I'm not giving Liverpool a curse because I was just saying on the last pod that it'd take like something catastrophic to ruin <laughs> like Liverpool's defence this year. And <laughs> I hope this isn't the first of a few injuries that completely yeah. like derail Liverpool's season straight off the bat again. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if um, when Van Dijk and Gomez do come back and start playing, with, you're quite often going to pick up a few niggles, aren't you, when yeah. you've come back from a long injury? Um, they're not going to play every every game. I mean, not not to start off with anyway. So Klopp will ease them back. He won't want them out for a long time. <laughs> yeah. So back to what Jason is saying, obviously with the three and the four, I think we could probably go through each team and mm. probably find one that isn't nailed. Um, yeah. So if you are blocking, I think, I think a few of my blocks that I've got, especially like the likes of Liverpool and United, they have got the three three defenders rather than the four. Mm. I'd rather I'd rather just go with the three and the goalkeeper and move one in, into midfield. I know he's going to play. It, it's pointless risking it, putting in someone who might be rotated or might might not even get get a place. Um, don't risk that. There's no need. Um, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that covers your question, Jason. Uh, don't risk it. Um, try to get f- squeeze four in there that aren't nailed. Uh, you, want, you want people that will be playing. On to the next question. Dan Cox has been on. Am I seriously considering Ali? Or Spurs are trapped with these extra games? And I take it no one's starting with KDB. Go on, James. We've, we've obviously, we've, we've bigged up Ali, haven't we? All three of us and Fergie. Um, and I think there's a bit of an Ali train getting going. There is. Uh, he, he didn't look good against Chelsea when I watched him, but I've, he looked a bit better uh, today against Arsenal. Um, how he didn't score is a mystery. I don't know. Did you see him hit the post? No, I didn't see him hit. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah he should have scored, but um, at least he was getting in the right positions. Um, he looked all right. I mean, it is a bit of, I think he is a bit of a punt, and I am sort of toying with, Maybe more as a better option, um, but you know they've got five games. You've got to target the fixtures. Um, he could be worth a punt, I think. Yeah, why not have more at Anna Ali? Oh, that might be a bit too. You don't want to go too Spurs heavy, otherwise you're going to have lots of transfers to make. <laughs> Although Ben might have different different opinion. Yeah, I've still got the both of them in my draft at the minute, but. I don't know. See, see what happens on the deadline. I might take one out. I made you more to more now because it's two point five million now. Ali's gone up to three million. Mm. Mm. But why now? Dum? Why now? Dum starting all the game? Not why now? Dum. What's his name? Bergwijn. Bergwijn. Bergwijn starting all the games and he's two million. But yeah. he hasn't really mm. got any attacking returns. So far in pre-season. But yeah, probably Mora for me would be the one now. Yeah. yeah. Unless obviously Drake? if if Kane comes back in, um, <laughs> then it's all up in the air again, isn't it? Because yeah. he's going to he's gonna take one of them positions and all of a sudden you've got Bergwijn, Mora probably rotating on one side. Um, yeah. I mean, you think that Kane's going to end up at City. But... Who knows? Um, I've I've still got Ali in. Uh, I do like the look of Mora. Is it like James says? Is it a bit too much going with both of them? Um, yeah, pro- possibly, possibly. It's them extra but, games in it though. Yeah, two extra games. Two extra games that first month. Looks like it's going to be past us to Ferreira. They beat. They won four 0 against Lan in the first leg. Yeah, you got to think that it would be them. Yeah. Um, don't know much about them. What are they fourth or fifth best team in Portugal yeah. last year? You'd expect Spurs to roll them over. How easy it'd be, we don't know. You never know with Spurs, do you? But obviously, new manager. Interesting to see. Obviously, they beat Arsenal one 0 today. From what would have, I would have guessed, was quite a competitive game. Mm. What, what, what were it like, James? Was it competitive and? It was pretty competitive, yeah. Um, Arsenal 
kept the ball in midfield quite a lot, but didn't really show any real intent up front. You know, um, yeah, I mean, it was it was quite close. It wasn't the best watch, um, yeah. but yeah, there, it was quite competitive. There was a few tasty tackles in there. How did Smith Rowe play? Um, I didn't. But I'll be honest. I I barely noticed him. Mm. He got ninety minutes today. That's I was just noticed mm. that. Yeah, yeah. That's not a good sign, is it? Yeah, and like yeah. I said, they weren't. They were. They weren't very. They weren't getting a lot of shots off or anything like that. It was. They were passing it about nice and prettily in midfield. Are you Are you telling me that Spurs were very good defensively? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> I would note that Doherty didn't start again. Yeah. So I'm thinking yeah. I'm I'm probably not going to start with Doherty in my in my first for my main team. Yeah. Because um I, well I spoke to a Spurs friend of mine and he said that he do, he doesn't think that um he trusts Doherty in, to play as a orthodox right back. He only wants to play him in a if there's a back three, and that kind of makes sense. Um, they have just bought a new Argentine defender, is it? Yeah. Um, and he's supposed to be pretty good. If you read read up on him. He was, wasn't he? Top, top rated top La Liga defender last year or something. So yeah. Um, he does. He looks like he might be quite handy. So perhaps they will go to a back three. But um, I'm not going to be starting. I don't think I'm going to start in the season with Doherty now after. Barely any preseason minutes, and that I'm in a chat with my Spurs mate. Yeah, regular on the safer option, other side. Yeah. Didn't Tanganga start, start start today? Got the yeah, he started it right goal. back. When he burst onto the scene a couple a few years ago under Mourinho, I mm. thought, Jesus Christ, this is this lad's a player. Mm. And obviously, he went very quiet. Um, he kind of dropped away, went, went back off the scene. I think he had a few injuries, and that sort of stalled his progress a bit. Yeah, yeah. I really, I really will be interested to see how he gets on if he does, if he does get that right back spot because mm. he looked very, very, very good when he started playing. Interesting. Um, or Spurs a trap, uh, possibly. <laughs> Spurs Ooh. are always a trap, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Tanganga's only one point five million in Dream Team. Yeah, I tell you what, if he's starting, that's a bit of an an we <laughs> five games. Five games, yeah. God, yeah, yeah. Take note of that, everyone. Uh, it could be worth a punt. Uh, and he takes it. No one starting with KDB. I think obviously that'll be one that's watched the last minute, but it's not looking likely KDB is going to play first game. Would you bring him in Pe- second week? Peps, um, I think Pep said he definitely isn't going to start the first game, didn't he? Him and Foden are out. That's that's good to know. Bit of certainty yeah. from Pep. Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's what people what are saying. Used to. You don't normally get certainty from Pep, do you? So um, um, it's mind games. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Pep, <laughs> for, Pep, <laughs> Pep starting for, uh, De Bruyne and Ford in the first game. <laughs> Grealish benched. Yeah, um, yeah. That's, like you say, I don't think KDB is making it, is he? Ford and were simply yeah. a foot brace on, weren't he? The big. Uh, a big, a big boot on his foot. I think he's done some damage somewhere. Um, interesting to keep an eye on that one. Euros. Yeah, uh, and at the price he's at, he's in a void. Mm. Definitely, if at least for the first few weeks. Um, Flower Pot Man's been on. Um, he's he's asking how about we do a, comp- a cup competition within the league. Um, it'll give you something to do, Ben. Because you've never yeah. had better to do with your time. <laughs> <laughs> He's cheeky one, that uh, flower pot man, isn't he? He is. He is. He's trying to do some more work. I, 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 do you know what? It's something I've always thought of, and but he does create a lot of work. Mm. Whether yeah. whether it could be done, um, it's something to think about uh, for this week before the season kicks off. Everyone does love a cup competition.
yeah, so it's one we will look into. Um, so cheers for that, Far Pop Man, giving us all extra work. Right, up to the um, <laughs> the couple of rate my teams that we missed off last week. <laughs> on to Kerry Jones's team. Uh, he says this is one of his three teams. Uh, he's one and a half million in the bank to make a move for Kane. Um, obviously, he's planning the man here to Kane switch. He wants to target the Spurs opening five. What do you reckon of that team, lads? What do you reckon, James? <clears throat> right, I, I really like this team. It's well balanced. Um, double Liverpool attack I'm in favour of. I, I mean, I can't really pick, fault it, to be honest. Um, I really like that team. It's, it looks good. What do you guys think? Go on, Ben. Yeah, really good team. Um, <clears throat> James looks like he'll be starting the first game because that's pretty quite has got a, a suspension from the last game of the season last year. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, I like Cresswell. Reg- Regulon looks like he's nailed for Spurs. Trent's good. Um, Ali's. The double up in the Spurs defence <laughs> with Loris and Regulon. Yeah, I like that. But that um, the new goalie they've signed, Spurs, is it Gallini? Yeah. Um, I could see him playing the Europa Conference games. Um, that's the only thing with uh, most of the uh, European teams. They probably rotate the keepers now, don't they? Yeah, they do. Um, but yeah, Loris, Loris is a good pick, definitely. Worth what about Suchek? I've not seen Suchek in many teams. Yeah. Um, um, He's quite good going forward, isn't he? Yeah, I like I like it. It's 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 a differential. Yeah, um, got good fixtures, so it's worth a punt. What do you reckon, Tony? Yeah, I think he's all right. Um, Suchek differential, um, the double up on the Liverpool. I like Reese James. F- big fan of his. I'd probably change the keeper. Uh, Will Will Reese? Like I said, I don't think he'll play all five games. Um, I mean, I'd probably go for uh, Martinez or um, with their fixtures, Villa's fixtures are pretty good, or even Fabianski. Um, but yeah, there's not much wrong with the team. Like, it, it, it could do really well. Uh, Cresswell, good, good option. And then obviously he's got a bit of cash in bank for the switch to Kane, which is always sensible. So yeah, he's obviously planning ahead, which is good. So, fair play, Kerry. Uh, on to Matty Blakes, who, again, <laughs> I missed I missed his team. I think I think it's we having, obviously, running the um, the main Twitter account and my own. It's Sometimes it, get, it gets lost between the, the two. But, yeah. So, Matty says he's obviously keeping an eye on the KDB and Kane situation, as, we, as everyone should be, um, before you nail these teams in. Let's see what's going on. But yeah, what do you think of that team, Ben? Yeah, I like I like it. Um I like the Martinez pick. Um he's brilliant really. He got what was it third highest point scorer last year and he didn't even have any European games. Yeah. Um <clears throat> But yeah, he, he's worth a punt for the first first month or so. You can always upgrade, he might go up in value. Uh and you could upgrade to like a Chelsea keeper or a Liverpool or City, whatever. Um, Doherty is a bit of a. Sh- <coughs> I don't know yet. I'm not sure about him yet. After he didn't start the friendly today, didn't get any minutes at all. Um, but yes, Ziyech, we already discussed him, didn't we? Yeah. He's uh, it's a bit of a wait and see for me, but it's worth a gamble in one of your teams, definitely. Uh, and. Ollie Watkins, I think he's just got injured, but keep, wait and see. Like check check the uh, injury news. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I think it's a good side. What do you reckon, James? <clears throat> I I agree with what Ben said. Um, in addition to that, I would say with Danny Ings going to Villa now, I would be a bit concerned that. Um, he will take some points away from Watkins. Um, I think Ings will be the main man there. Um, apart from that, I, yeah, I agree with what Ben said, I think. I think obviously he's got two and a half sat in bank. He's already got Kane and De Bruyne in there. A big, mm. notable absentee, obviously, with ZH punt and Ali 
punt, obviously, mm. is that there's no Fernandes, which yeah. always oh, yeah. worries me when I see any team. Uh, yeah, there's two punts in there, Ali's the edge. But it's a quick da- uh, it's a quick move across from De Bruyne if he doesn't start. Yeah. Just to, just to stick Fernandes in, and he's still got the money in the bank. Obviously, we, same with Kane, downgrade to either his son or, or Manny. Um, yeah, like you say, Doherty, I'd probably upgrade him to use a bit of that cash to upgrade him to, if you want the Spurs, cover at the back, Regulon. Um, yeah, that's that's what I'd do with it. It's decent looking side, differentials, bit of everything in there. I like Martin, isn't that? Like you say, without without the European games, still one of the top keepers up game. So, and I don't I don't think that'll be much different this year. He's, he is top top drawer. Mm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there you are, Matty. A week late, but <laughs> <laughs> but we've got we've got round to it. Um, there, there was a few things we put down earlier to to discuss. Obviously, with um all the things going on. I think we've covered most of them. I don't think we've touched on Sterling. Um, we don't know what's going on there, unless you two lads know know anything. No? No. No, no nothing. It's all got a bit quiet. Obviously, we heard he was up for sale, probably to try and fund the Grealish and Kane moves, uh, refusing to sign a new contract, and I've not seen him <coughs> anything for friendlies. So... It's one to keep an eye on because I think he's a good punt. If he does stay at City and he plays, he's a good punt at four and a half million. He's cheap. Obviously, another one, probably not just in Dream Team, but in um, other formats of fancy football. For Fana, obviously, a really bad injury. Um, so, yeah, I, I would be getting him out of your side, which is really unfortunate for a lad because you know, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a top player, young lad. Um, wishing the best. Yeah, but yeah, I, I think there's been a lot of there's a lot of um, change, down there, even over the last four or five days, mm-hmm. where um, we're not able to like just nail nail us side down. I've got the nucleus. I've got a pool of players like, like Fergus on about on the last pod. Is you've got them players that you're putting into nearly every team because mm-hmm. that that's your mind made up on those. So it just be switching them around a little bit and w- working out with these new transfers with Lukaku and where Kane ends up, whether he ends up in your team. Um, what we're going to do, obviously we're not showing our teams uh, what we've tweaked and stuff, but on Thursday we're going to do a team reveal video, uh, which we'll post out on Twitter and across the WhatsApp groups and stuff, and, and we'll um, get everyone in the know to what we're doing by Thursday night. Everyone should know where our teams are at uh, for the DT Tonic League. Um, and yeah, obviously they're always subject to change. Because something might happen on the Friday morning. You, you never know. You never know what's going on, do you? But yeah, I think we've covered everything, lads. A bit shorter this week. <laughs> we've had some <laughs> technical troubles, <laughs> so if you do, um, you do hear some strange th- strange goings on throughout the uh, <laughs> throughout the episode. Just blame my editing. Got <laughs> <laughs> a right ball ache. <laughs> but yeah, uh, get across to the website. Um, we've got mini leagues in every format Dream Team, Sky, FPL and Fan Team, all cash leagues all going to have a trophy to all the winners we'll, we'll have shout outs on every pod for everyone in the top 10 um, if you're all going to mention if you're doing alright I might give the uh, people who are not doing so well a mention as well just to give them a kick up the arse but <laughs> we've got the Dream Team blogs from James and Connor like we mentioned earlier Ben might throw a few in there obviously depending on how Oh, his time is scheduled. We're having a, a newborn shortly. Um, FPL, we've got Reem and Louis blogging for us. Uh, we've got the FPL Reaction Podcast, which has got its own channel now. But uh, you, You'll see that retweeted a lot across Twitter from us um, with uh, Louis and Max. Sky Fancy Football, we've got Reese and Steve signing back up for the new year. And Fan Team, we've got Mike. We do some brilliant stuff. So, yeah. Cheers, guys. Thanks again. Um, We'll speak to you next Sunday, Monday. Cheers, Tony. Cheers. Cheers.